Of course, there's no way to know with certainty why Jesus chose a wedding here in Cana to be the location of his very first miracle. We can hypothesize, of course, and there are some Jewish traditions and old Hebrew prophecies to help us piece together some possibilities. Some historians speculate that the event in Cana was the wedding of the disciple John, and that's one of the reasons why Jesus and the other disciples were invited. According to the Gospels, John's mother, Salome, was a sister of Jesus' mother, Mary. So Jesus would have been here with extended family and close friends. Others speculate that because Jesus arrived with his five new disciples, they would have felt obliged to provide something for the party. Now, weddings could last for up to seven whole days, during which time the food and the wine provided by the bride and groom's families flowed freely. Now, in those days, family honor was of vital importance, and to run out of either food or wine at a wedding implied a thoughtless or impoverished host. Now, the Bible tells us that by the third day of celebration, the wine had run out, and so Mary turned to her son Jesus and asked for help. And though Jesus had never publicly performed a miracle, the Gospel of John says that he chose a wedding to first publicly display his power to perform miracles. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to his servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he said to them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, Everyone brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. What Jesus did in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. John 2, 6 through 11. 